Hi, my name is Rob, and this is Book Reviews in 5 Minutes or Less. Today's review focuses on Diamonds Are Forever by Ian Fleming, the fourth book in the James Bond series. First published in 1956, Diamonds Are Forever follows the f previous adventure in the James Bond series, Moonraker. The film, based on the novel, which was released in 1971, received very mixed reviews as Sean Connery took returned to the talks one last time in a one-off adventure before Roger Moore took over. Bond's mission in Diamonds Are Forever is a simple one. He's asked to help close a diamond smuggling operation that spans multiple continents. And his adventures take him from everywhere from Sierra Leone, London, England, and various points in America including Saratoga and Las Vegas. Bond actually takes on the role of someone in the uh, diamond smuggling pipeline. The book finds Bond taking on the fictional American gang, The Spangled Mob, which is run by two brothers. Although the gang Bond goes after is fictional, the mafia itself in America wasn't at a time and was just coming to public attention in 1956. Bond initially writes off the gang as a threat, but soon finds himself very mistaken. Old friends return and new ones are made, as Bond of course finds himself in the partnership of a new woman in Diamonds Are Forever, Tiffany Case. Personally, I have mixed thoughts about Tiffany as a character considering her background, which I consider to a degree to be very poorly written. But, she shows herself to be competent to a large degree as she deals with Bond throughout the novel. Diamonds Are Forever itself is also a mixed book for me. Fleming continues to blow most authors out of the water with his vivid descriptions of anything going on in his books. The book itself is well written, but there's just something off about the whole thing. Perhaps Fleming overplayed his hand with too many locations, or a lack of a real tangible villain, and Bond waiting for the adventure to begin too long that came too late. Compared to Moonraker where the first half of the book built up to the events in the second half, Diamonds Are Forever often feels like two different books in one, and that gives it its really muddled feelings. Overall though, it's not a terrible outing for Bond in this latest Fleming novel, and plenty of fans of the Bond series will find something to enjoy out of this one. But, that's just my review. What do you think of Diamonds Are Forever? Be sure to post your comments below, and please be sure to subscribe. Thank you.